This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa. Knights are just one win away from being able to lift the Stanley Cup trophy. Welcome in everyone to the Las Vegas Review Journal studios. I'm your sports host Cassie Soto and I am very pleased to be with you here as we all prepare for game five of the Stanley Cup final. The VGK lead the series three to one over the Florida Panthers right now and with a win tonight the team could make history as the fastest NHL expansion franchise to win a Stanley Cup in the modern era in just six seasons of existence. But this is an uncharted territory for the Golden Knights. The team had an opportunity to lift Lord Stanley's Cup back in 2018, but ultimately fell 4-1 to one in the series versus the Washington Capitals. Now the Knights get a chance to rewrite history and possibly win the team's first ever franchise championship. There's no doubt that it is a very exciting time for the Golden Knights organization, but it's also an exciting time for the fans, many of whom cheered on the team during that 2018 Stanley Cup run. From Henderson to Summerlin, fans have turned out. We'll be checking in from watch parties in Henderson in a little bit and a little later on in the show. But first, Review Journal Sports multimedia journalist Leandre Fox is giving us a look from inside City National Arena, the home of the Knights practice facility. Dre. How's it going out there? National Arena, there was some hockey practice going on, some open skate, and just a little bit of people inside the Arsenal buying some last minute merch. But this place has been packed out, and I think excited is an understatement. Listen, I was talking to a couple fans a few moments ago, and they said that they feel some pride about the Golden Knights. They feel excited about the Golden Knights because they are Vegas born, they are rooted in this community, and City National is where they practice. They are Summerlin bound. And listen, Mackenzie River expects this place to be packed. Hack. They were saying standing room only by puck drop as fans eagerly await the result of Game 5 to see if their Golden Knights bring home the Stanley Cup. Dre, thank you so much. Like you said, standing room only. We're about an hour away from puck drop, so I'm sure a lot more people will be rolling in there as we prepare for Game 5. Well, following the Knights' Game 4 win over the Panthers, forward Chandler Stevenson was asked about the emotions the team has knowing they are one win away from the ultimate goal. Here's what he had to say. You know, there's a lot of uh, emotion, a lot of everything. Um, you know, I think being at home too, you know, the fans, everybody's going to be into it. Emotion's going to be high, adrenaline, you know, everything. So um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, just composed um, and just shift by shift. I mean, you know, it's all the cliches, um, but, you know, I feel, feel confident. I mean, there's a lot of guys that have been in this position before, and, um, you know, I think that's something that has benefited us. And, um, you know, I think uh, everybody's going to be ready, and it's one went away from, you know, a lot of dreams for a lot of guys. We're just again about an hour away from puck drop or so of Game 5 and our team is at T-Mobile Arena waiting for the game to get under underway. But before that, let's hear from our expert Golden Knights beat writer Ben Goats on what he thinks will be the keys to the victory for the Golden Knights. What's up everyone? It's Ben Goats of the Las Vegas Review Journal here in front of a very excited Toshiba Plaza for Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Final. The Knights have the chance to clinch the first championship in franchise history tonight against the the Florida Panthers. Here are three things to watch in the game. Number one, what is the status of Florida right wing Matthew Kachuk? The Panthers' leading scorer has been nursing a little bit of an injury, it appears, since taking a hard hit from Knights right wing King Kolsar in game three. Kachuk was missing for about a 10 minute stretch in the third period of game four. He did not practice yesterday. We'll see whether he's able to give it a go tonight and how effective he will be. The other thing we got to watch for tonight, will the Knights' solid defensive structure keep it up? This is a team that's talked about it's hurt to win all postseason. The Knights have put that on display, sacrificing their body 
to get in front of shooting lanes and box out in front of goaltender Aiden Hill. It's really worked so far, and we'll see whether it's able to keep up tonight. The last thing we, of course, got to watch, and we'll see if it happens, if the Knights are able to win. We got to watch more the traditions with the Stanley Cup. Of course, there is the trophy ceremony where Captain Mark Stone would be the first one to lift the cup, and then we got to see how the Knights decide to pass it around if they do indeed win it. Every player gets a ceremonial lap with the cup. We'll see what order the Knights do decide to go into if they indeed get to win the championship and ultimately earn the right to edge their name on hockey's ultimate prize. Those are three things to watch from the Las Vegas Review Journal. We'll talk to you later. Thanks so much, Ben. Well, the love for the team can be felt all around the world with millions of fans, including the night's Spanish play-by-play -play announcer. 7 at 7 in Espanol host Rosana Romero caught up with Jesus Lopez to get us hyped for the game. You have a very special way to call the goal and, and to um, tell the people what's going on on those games. Yeah, it's, uh, well, we use a system called PPDDA, position, position, direction, defense, and attack. You describe those five points and you're doing play by play. But yeah, uh, this is too much of a passion not to be shared with everybody. The passion that you experience uh, inside the arena, anywhere, it's, it's just amazing. I've been with the team in Winnipeg, Edmonton, Dallas, and now here in Florida. And the passion for this game is just is, is just different. And I'm not saying that it's better than anything. It's just different. But this is pure adrenaline, three hours straight. It's just, I love it. I love hockey now. And yes, we all do. And obviously here in Las Vegas, we are very excited. We are hoping that Las Vegas Golden Knights will get that Copa, you know, at the end and be the uh, champions of the Stanley Cup. Now, um, to say goodbye to the people, can you tell us how do you um, play those games in Espanol so people can understand or English and how you uh, say the goal? I'll do it, I'll do it that in English, so I'll, I'll do it in Spanish if you don't okay. mind. This is how it sounds. It sounds like y Aaron Hill said the puck para Shea Theodore que sale por derecha, se lo lleva, lo peina, lo besa, lo acaricia, lo hace suyo, saca el pase en diagonal, recibe Marcheso, dispara, gol, golazo. Golazo. I don't know how you can't watch that and get so excited for this game tonight. Jesus does a great job on that Spanish play-by-play. -play. Well, a little earlier in the show, we checked in with fans in Summerlin, but we all know the love for this Golden Knights team spreads far and wide. Let's go ahead and toss things out now to our reporter, James Schaefer, who brings us the latest from Henderson. Well, if you were to ask fans down here in downtown Henderson and Water Street what the Golden Knights' chances are this evening, they would tell you it's all but assured. We've been speaking to folks down here who are very excited about an opportunity to watch the game for free uh, out in the outside area of City Hall, right in front of Lifeguard Arena. We were able to speak to one of the City of Henderson representatives who puts together uh, this event about what resources and manpower it takes to get something like this together. I'm one very small part of this whole operation. Uh, we have an amazing parks and rec staff. So all the tents, all the chairs, um, everything that's laid out here is because of them. And we've got food vendors, we've got a beverage vendor, we're going to have a live DJ today. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big operation put up, to put on this party, but it's, it's going to be a good time. Some other watch parties might be age restricted depending on the venue here. we got jungle gyms for the kids, the parents can set up, they can keep an eye on the kids. We've got dance contests for adults and kids alike. And it's just a lot of fun, man. You can bring your own food. We've got Water Street restaurants and businesses that can offer to-go options. It's a, it's a great time. Love it. Love the residents. Love the Knights. We're going to close it out tonight. Win the Stanley Cup. Woo! Go Knights, go! And as you heard Ron say, this event is available for all ages, and that does come with a jungle gym being available for free for kids to play on along with uh, this whole outdoor experience. So if, the, uh, if there are future games, uh, you have the ability to come out to uh, Henderson out in front of the Lifeguard Arena to watch the Knights play again for the Stanley Cup. Cassie? No more games, James. Just This is the only gold dress I have. So let's call it here. Game five, we're done. That will do it for our Golden Knights pregame show. The countdown is on for puck drop as the VGK look to hoist the famed...
Stanley Cup trophy tonight and make history. If the Golden Knights do in fact secure the win over the Panthers, you can join us here right here on the RJ social media platforms as we plan to go live with the celebrations all across Las Vegas. It will be a party you will not want to miss. For our entire Review Journal team, I'm Cassie Soto. We hope to see you soon. You've been watching breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa.